Okay guys, today we are going to be going over how to set up Code Composer Studio version 9 to talk to your TI Tiva. Um, so this is the Code Composer downloads page on Texas Instruments web page, website and you'll just want to go to the download Code Composer Studio, look at the system requirements. Um, we are not using Linux or Mac, we are going to be on Windows tells you everything. So you can just go down here and here is your 64-bit install file. You'll just click on this. I've actually already downloaded it so we'll go and open that up and it'll be in a zip file in your downloads. So we'll just extract that. We'll go ahead and put it on the desktop because I'm lazy and I don't care if my desktop is messy. And you'll just let that run. It takes a while to extract everything. There's quite a bit in here. Okay, and then once that's done, you'll have it open, and you can go into here and find CCS Setup 9.3, and it'll give you the Windows Account Control thing, and then you'll get this, and it'll start your setup for you, theoretically. So just click through here, accept this agreement. Uh, make note of where this is because it'll be important for something we do later. It's probably going to yell at me because I've actually already had this installed. We'll see. Oh, no, it didn't. Uh, we'll do a custom installation now. Here you're going to want to find what family of MCU you're talking to. I have an MSP430 so I want to install those drivers and you also want these TM4C12X ARM core. This is uh, the one that we're actually talking about today. This is the family. So next. And it'll yell at you. Um, and then this should be the only probes that you need. You should need this Black Hawk or the Secker. The Spectrum Digital Debug Probe and Board. Next. And just they tell you that these are not supported. Next. And then it'll get to this uh, be preparing to install install page and we're just gonna let that run and we can go ahead and finish it. Uh, now there's actually one other thing that you need to do to make your life a lot easier working with these um, Tiva boards and I've already done it but I'll walk you through it. So you go to your C drive and you'll see I have this um, folder called Tivaware C series. You'll see in a lot of tutorials online you'll see things included from this include folder here um, normally these header files that are board specific or maybe something in the driver library like these so if you want to get that uh, cancel launching that for now you will go to Texas Instruments again as soon as their website wants to load There we go. And go 
go to their website and just search on their website when the search bar comes up. Tivaware. And you want the this Tivaware for C series complete. And then you'll go to get the software. And you'll get this page. Uh, it might ask you to sign in and verify that you're using this for normal things. And then you'll just get this. Yeah, yeah. This is where it asks you. So I've already got my using my school account for this. And it'll ask me to approve that I'm using this for civil and that I'm not giving it to anybody who shouldn't have it. And download. And this download literally never starts for me. So I always have to hit their click here button. Save. And then you'll just run that. just like that and it will put this folder in your C drive under your right here and you'll okay so here we have a basic project open in co-composer uh, there's a couple things we need to do first first we have to include those TivaWare files that we saw earlier and to do that you go to your ARM compiler and you go to include options and you add a new include path browse and you just include go up to that TI folder just include this whole folder and okay and then you also need to go to your linker and your file search path and we need to add a new library file and that is go to TI, TivaWare, debug, debug, no, debug, driver lib, CCS, debug, driver lib, open, and OK. And there's one other thing, this predefined symbols, um, you're going to want to make sure this line part, uh, and then whatever board you're working with is here. Uh, for mine, it managed to create it automatically when I created this new project so it shouldn't be an issue but if you have an issue what you'll have to do is go to TI find a working project from them and see what this line is set to and then you can apply and close and you'll see now that we have this TivaWare C series included so we should be able to include it up here again this is just very very simple blinks the um, LED on the Tiva. So we'll see if this builds. And it looked like it built just fine. We have one warning. It's using a version of the compiler that is not currently installed. So if we want to do that, we go through preferences is somewhere
updates available. We're not going to look at those just yet. Preferences, CCS build. Compilers. That build will go to properties. There's configuration, connection. Build. Compiler. I'm going to actually just run these updates because I think that's where I got the compiler from before originally. Okay, so it looks like those updates finally finished, and we're going to try building again. And yep, it built just fine with no issues. It has some optimization, um, optimization advice. So again, this is a very simple program that's just going to blink the outlight uh, on the um, Tiva board we have. All we're doing is turning on the clock, then we have this loop variable that we're just doing a garbage read to and then um, we're turning this we're actually turning on the uh, port port f output number four to be an output here because this uh, ox08 is equal to one zero zero in binary. So that is bit number four, which means that that is now being an output, and then we are enabling digital functions. This is normal pin setup. Uh, we can go over that in a future video. It's the same thing here. So that's just that uh, port F output number four, or technically pin number four, is actually an external, or not external, an LED located on the board, and this is just going to make it blink. So we'll compile, even though it's just new comments, so it shouldn't do anything. Yep. Alright. And then to actually get it to run, we will hit debug, and it will eventually load. And what it's going to do is it's going to run our debugger, and I guess now we can go ahead and show what's actually going on here. go back up here and we can run the code by pressing resume and as you can see the light will blink so everything is set up correctly so um, when you have your project set up you also need to check your debug settings uh, you can go to debug configurations and wait forever for something to load. Um, see, it's targeting this Cortex M, but the way that you really make sure these are done is you go and you make a new project, project, new CSS project, CCS project. Uh, target your Tiva um, and make sure you're using the Stellaris in circuit debug interface. And this is just uh, demonstration demo one, call it demo one finish. So 
that's all you really need to do to make sure your project has that. And then go through setting up all of your drivers uh, includes and everything like that because they will not be automatically brought in like they need to be. So.